Hello, hello, hello. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the final episode of We're Doing It Live All Week. So, uh, we're back here in the old Mega Campaign. This is, of course, on Saturday's big live stream. I do one every week. Just this week, I've been live streaming every day. Don't get used to it, because it's worn me out like hell. No, really. It's really tiring to live stream every day. But, you know what? It's been fun doing it. So, we're back in the Mega Campaign. Um... Hmm... Yeah, I'm still in the Civil War, pseudo-Civil War sort of thing. Uh, I'm just kind of waiting for things to uh, happen. While we try and lower our war exhaustion, we've gained violated Sphere of Influence. Austria can still get a Sphere of Influence? That's impressive. All things considered. I figured I'd left them two shatters for that. Yeesh. Russia's becoming a mess again. Wow. Bergeon? Let's see. This keeps slaughtering their armies. What's our war exhaustion at? I have forgotten to check. Down to 20, okay. In for me, back under the limit. Not always useful. Alright, so we've got a revolt there. Alright, so my problem is I've got too many things happening in the new world. And I really need to withdraw these armies. Which, of course, I can't do. This is why I want to sell this to Savoy. Or Britain, or somebody. So I'm going to try and hold on to it. Let's just try and hold on to it. See if I can. I mean, so long as I don't actually go to war, conditions can only improve, right? This the trick is just avoiding war. And, you know, hoping my friggin' dumbasses guys actually start assaulting provinces. That's very important, too. Ugh. Oh yeah, right, I've left the start screen up, haven't I? Sorry, I'm a little tired after that boss fight. I mean, I just beat FTL again, or rather for my first time, played through FTL again, beat it for my first time, in one sitting, so... I'm just... Oh. Poland's going through a time of trouble, sucks to be them. But yeah, back to where we are. Ugh. I look down at the chat every couple of minutes just to make sure you guys aren't swearing crap. Technically, it's my job to moderate you since Navarro is not here. Can't pass it off on him. Oh well, let's see. So yeah, it looks actually we're like we're starting to regain some control. Like, some actual control. Like, there seems to be far fewer rebel-occupied provinces lying around than there used to be. So, 53. We're three years ahead of our time on everything. Let's try and raise our stability. It's going to take, well, two years, three years. Something like that. Perfect. That's the best way to handle it. Alright, well, like I said, we're getting some semblance of control back. Still not to say we don't have a lot of problems, though. Especially with nationalists in Cyprus. And in Crete. Slash Candyland, slash whatever. Which I just don't think we have enough armies to do anything about. You've learned of Eastern Siberia. That's great. So now I just need Central Siberia. 
Oh boy. Yeah, blue, you're not getting mod. <laughs> I can read, so. I can read and play at the same time. It's not that hard. Man, that was a big rebel army. Let's move over to the Gulf of Cyprus. So that way, um, they will be able to go on to, go to Cyprus. Oh no, they can't use the boat. That's why. They have one too many guys. That's why Cyprus hasn't been cleaned up. I said, you know what? What's the worst that could happen if they have one too many guys? Looks like I found out. Ugh. Yes, I play awesomely. Like, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Alright, slaughter said rebel army. Man, they die so uh, they die in so many large numbers, it's amazing. Alright, so now they take out Cyprus. They've got down here, they'll clean that up fairly quickly. Yeah, our legitimacy's been going up really quick, so that's been really helping the revolt risk, I think. Forts, Sunny Revolt and Gibraltar are great. It's the last thing I need right now. Oh, like hell, you're, you're, you're recapturing that damn fort. Off our hunting rebel mode, you're going to Crete, and then Gibraltar, and then we bring them back. Yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. Just try and get the islands all at once. Sure, T. Apparently I have colonies somewhere. In tea producing areas. So let's send colonists a lot randomly around here and try and convert it back from Islam and to Nubian culture and everything. Already sent a colonist there, good. Like I said, we had to cut Spain's empire, or the Caliphate's empire, one last time. I think they're finally finished now. Just a floundering mess of crap and nothingness. This is all that remains in the former shell of what was once an amazing empire. I'll give them that. They once did have an amazing empire. And now, Sweden will consume it. <laughs> no joke, Sweden's just gonna eat Spain. I'm amazed that, you know, Scandinavia never formed because Denmark had backbone and managed to stand up to Sweden. Which always surprises me that Denmark successfully beat Sweden down. Was... It would spill over into the Byzantine area. Any rebel I don't have to deal with right now is comparatively good for me. Uh, okay, let's, one less heretics there, good. In other words, just keep getting up that legitimacy and we might survive. Oh, Gibraltar. You assault, and then slaughter. Good. <clears throat> They're apparently having some trouble with rebels down here. Religious rebel uprising. Knoi. Yeah. Alright, whatever. Ooh, what a perfect landing opportunity. Damn, they completed the Siege of Tal? Where was that? Ah, uh, that kills the population. Alright, great. Slightly annoying. Well, they arrive before the fort dies, right? Yeah, okay. Oh no, they're fighting each other. I thought they were assaulting the fort. Well, we just killed the winner. Easy enough. 
Alright. Now yeah, let's drop them off in Seleucia. Keep the legitimacy on the rise and that on the fall, as well as our war exhaustion. Which is down to 18.6. Very good, very good. Yeah, Madagascar is cooked. Like, I, I don't think that they're nationalists. I think, yeah, they're all just particularists up there. But, nevertheless, rebel troubles. And, alright. Kill that. Oh, wow. Deccan is a vassal of Kandesh. Interesting. Ming's provinces here have finally been taken back. Interesting. I'm surprised that Ming is still alive at all. Like, I would have figured Orisa would take that, Bihar would take that, and somebody would... Like, they'd split the remains of Ming there. But no, apparently the three Chinese provinces I created are more than enough. Hmm. And it looks like Japan won't be uniting in time. Oh well. They'll be united once they hit Victoria too, anyway. Nothing I can do really about that. I mean, I suppose I could try and recreate the daimyo system, but... This would be ridiculously hard and probably not remotely even worth it. Alright, keep slaughtering the rebels. You guys, get to work. Hunt them. Uh, missionary map mode. So everywhere there is still covered. Uh, let's begin the conversions over here then. Alright. <laughs> Oof. Um, let them revolt. And again, this is why I didn't do much colonization and more or less let my vassals do it for me. Because I knew I'd never be able to properly maintain enough uh, armies to successfully come out of a uh, prolonged war. Everyone's like, I should go colonizing. And this is why I didn't. Because I'm only just barely surviving right now. I mean, I've managed to get my head on things, but a series of bad events like this, if I had a whole colonial empire, I'd be cooked. I, I, hell, if I had all of Africa, too. Hell, I'd definitely be cooked then, if I had a colonial empire and Africa. <laughs> Africa really, for me, isn't much of a colonial empire, but... Alright, so that's that. We've retaken the south, and it's a bit of a problem in the north, but... That's handleable. I don't know why it's doing that. What? Recalculate your path. There you go. And take out them first, anyway. And that. I don't know. Alright, just go there. Silly AI. Got some issues. Nope, retake that. And go over and retake the Patriot Fort there. You're just gonna fight your way up. Uh, to, uh, Abyssinia. Good. We've lost the effects of the Eastern Trade Route. Aww. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's good snow. Founding Father and Annie. Yeah, he can't do any harm. Yeesh. The mess of crap around here. And Sweden continues to eat the Caliphate. It seems that they aren't getting anywhere any further, however. Norway is still divided. We've gained Koran Bourbon. Great. Eventually I'll go and take that province back. Or something. Alright, so... Well, those provinces haven't affected yet. Connick's still got its problems. Siege kill, good. Alright. Now get them. Get the heretics. The heretics are a bigger problem. 
All right. And as we clear the area, more move in. Well, legitimacy's up again. Um. Hopefully we can get some stability soon. That would be great too. Um, you know, we look around here. We're down to 3.7 revolt risk. It's not terrible. I feel like if I had gotten courthouses, I'd be in much better shape than I am now. Yeah, courthouses would probably have been great. Too late for it now. Oh boy. Send more of that. God. Well, that colony's still standing. Dem natives. Not able to finish it off, it seems. Okay, good. Whoa, wait, that was another lens flag. What? Who the hell did I just gain a constable on? Oh. So that was Paraguay's flag. Where the hell is Paraguay? From the Andalusian Caliphate. Paraguay in Barbados. The hell? Well, meh. I mean, Colombia being free like that, it's not that even that far off either. Both pretty crazy and random. Sweden looks like it's gonna capture and eat this. But okay, I'd, I thought there was another lens for a moment. Uh, I think the other one's is, in is the reverse of that, with blue on top and red on the bottom. Yeah, something like that anyway. Yeesh. Um, yeah, okay, we got Paraguay now. Alright, let's just go to the end of the year and call it a day. Yep, yeah, alright. And losing Patriots, yeah. Canore. Uh, okay. Well, we've got areas cleaning up at least. Alright, you just attack that fort too. Don't don't skip ahead on that. There we are. Alright, let's try. We're getting things under control. We're up to 70% legitimacy. War exhaustion's down to 16 and a half. We're almost out of revolt risk in like Alexandria. Why is there more revolt risk in Alexandria? Should be the same, but Alexandria should have a courthouse, whereas this does not. Alexander has a courthouse, yeah? Hey, look, we'll hold us minus one. Oh, I thought it was minus two. Whoops. Oh, that makes sense. Must have nerfed courthouses in Divine Wind. I just have never paid attention to it. Don't you put that out either. So, a thousand flowers. Okay. Like I said, we're starting to gain some semblance of control back. Just have not enough armies to kill all everything. That's pretty much how it goes. All right, 71 legitimacy. Keep it up. And we're almost out in Alexandria of revolt risk, so. It's definitely calming down. Let's try and take a look at the revolt risk map mode. Definitely an improvement. There's a little more green around. Definitely more green around. That's for sure. them. You head down there. 
Yeah, we actually do kind of have a semblance of control again. We finally brought the rebels under control. Go figure. I never thought we would have done it this quickly, but... Yeah. Spoke too soon. Not really, we've still got it. And stability's up. Okay, with this autosave, I think we're done. For at least today. Um, reduce stability investment, pull out all the strings for land. Just never gonna finish. Okay, um, yeah, should be good. By the end, by August, wow. Alright. <laughs> Okay, we're good. Um, stability's up. Uh, war exhaustion's at an all-time low. Yeah, you know what? We'll go to February just so we can see the uh, revolt risks update with the new stability and stuff. We've gained liberation against Colombia? The hell? How did we gain liberation against them? Must have a second province somewhere, I guess. Just... Oh, they annexed Paraguay. <laughs> well, <Yeah>, alright. <laughs> I could care less. And the Swedish hold on Spain is now massive. Holy crap. Silly Sweden. Ah, <laughs> uh, stop breaking history. Eh, I'm getting weary of this. Trying to keep trying to keep tabs on my entire empire at once while beating back these revolts is a problem. Yeah, no more revolt risk in Alexandria. Zero point three. Things are slowly getting back to normal. Huzzah! And this is the end of the. Yes, it's true. If I decentralized, I wouldn't have as much war exhaustion, but also far less money, and you know stuff like that. What else does decentralizing do, or cost me? I should say. Let's see, production, so money, money, inflation reduction, magistrates, okay, that one's completely relevant. Yeah, you know what, it probably could have gone decentralized and would have been fine. <laughs> but regardless, we have come this far, this centralized. It is now 1780, and I think my empire has finally recovered a bit. So, hopefully the revolutionary event will start firing soon. Um... And then we can be in the revolutionary era. As Kandesh begins to eat the remaining Muslims. I approve. Is, is Orthodoxy dead yet? No. Apparently not. It's been completely cleaned out of the east. Completely cleaned out of Europe. That's the last two provinces. Just waiting on you, Kandesh. Just waiting on you. And with that, I say it's time for me to go. So until next time, this is Kelvin. Signing up.